Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Today's story is called Ask Uncle Neil. Why is my hair curly? Written by Neil Thompson, illustrated by Kathy Bolio. Now this remarkable book is about a sweet little boy who has a little difficulty understanding why he looks different from his friends and classmates. Now let's see what happens. Let's get started. Anthony, hurry up. It's time to get ready for your piano recital. Anthony's mom, Jessica, was getting annoyed with him. Anthony hadn't even brushed his hair yet, and they were running late. I'm brushing my hair now, mommy. And with every form brush stroke, Anthony looked more and more like a new young man. And as he looked into the mirror, he couldn't help but wonder what his hair would look like longer. Wouldn't it be cool if I had an afro, mommy? He asked his mom. <laughs> Absolutely not, Jessica said. You'd look like a ragamuffin. And Anthony and his mom both laughed. <laughs> but if it was long, I'd have to use a comb instead of a brush, right? That's right. And it would be so hard to get the comb through my hair, mommy. Well, probably so. But I've seen kids at school, mommy. When they comb their hair, the comb goes through smoothly. But with my hair, he would get stuck. Well, that's because your hair is curlier than their hair, Anthony. Why is my hair curly? Mommy? Anthony innocently asked. You know, I don't know. Your Uncle Neil is a scientist. Maybe he knows. If I call him, will you get dressed quickly? Yeah. Yes. I love talking to Uncle Neil. Anthony exclaimed. So Anthony's mom got on her cell phone and pushed Uncle Neil's name. We'll FaceTime him, Anthony's mom said. Okay. Anthony was extremely excited to speak with his Uncle Neil. The phone rang a couple of times before he answered and his face appeared. Hello. Hi, Uncle Neil. Anthony waved at his uncle's face on the phone. Anthony, how are you? Uncle Neil asked as he waved back at Anthony. I'm good. Mommy said I could ask you a question. It may sound a little odd at first, but... Why is my ear curly? Well, the answer isn't clear cut, Anthony. Uncle Neil said, slightly taken aback by such a unique question. Some people think it has to do with protection from the sun. And as you know, we are descended from Africa, which in some places is closer to the equator. And this makes it a very hot place. The curliness in our hair could possibly protect us from the sun rays. Ah, cool. Like a special helmet, Anthony said enthusiastically. And Uncle Neil agreed. Exactly. Now, some people think the curliness has to do with the shape of our hair. Some of your classmates' and schoolmates' hair is rounder 
and droops like a wet noodle. Our hair is shaped like a ribbon and stays curly no matter what. So when you pull it, it goes point like a slinky. Anthony asks. Now you're getting it. Another thing to note is that your ear below the skin is oily. For most other people, the ear above the skin is oily too. For us, however, the ear above the skin isn't oily. Our ear may be curly because the oil isn't smoothing the ear down. I have oil in my hair. Yuck! You certainly do. So? You don't really know why my hair is curly, do you, Uncle Neil? No, there's no scientific consensus. Anthony probed further. What does scientific consensus mean? Well, it means most scientists can't agree on the reason. There's some theories, but no one knows for sure. Now, when you grow up, maybe you can become a scientist and figure it out. A scientist like your Uncle Neil? Cool! And then, Anthony's mom nudged her son and interrupted the conversation. You know, what would be really cool if you finished brushing your oily ear? <laughs> okay, mommy. Anthony laughed uncontrollably. Bye, Uncle Neil. If you have any other questions, give me a call, okay? Okay. Thank you for joining us again for this wonderful story time. We thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.